Yeah, it was this one. You can see the bark is peeled off the tree up to the branch. Her car rolled up the tree and collapsed the roof down onto her. The paramedics and nurses were in the car with her, and they had IV bags hanging off this tree trying to get fluid into her. There was a lot of people that worked real hard that morning to make sure that it all went well. The rest of it was all her holding on and fighting to get back. Yeah. My name is Tessa Vanell. Hey, Tessa, how you doing? You're looking good, Tessa. Tessa, who's that? I was in a car accident in 2006. Can you point to yourself in the picture? I'm going to closer to him. Which one's you? I broke my ulna and my scapula and three ribs and my femur. I also got a severe brain injury, and that is the thing that has proved the most difficult to fix. It's called a diffuse axonal injury, which means that the injury comes from your, my brain hitting the rapid stop of the car, and my brain hit the front, so it's my right frontal, and then it ricocheted in the back, so it's my left dorsal. The effects of that are lots of things, but l largely my speech, the quality of my speech, and my balance. When I was in rehab, Dr. Douglas Katz was coordinating my treatment. Hello. Hi, I'm How sorry to make you wait. <laughs> I knew you were you know, around the age of my children, and so I related to it. You know, it's kind of every parent's nightmare to sort of get that call. You know, people with your kind of injury, you know, half or more, don't even survive. Can okay, I put it in your lap? All the way. Up against your belly. No, no, no. Don't say no. Keep trying. Nice job. That's very good. That's really good. Yeah. I was never by myself at Braintree. I was always surrounded by 1,000 people. But often I felt like I'm not surrounded by people. I am by myself. And I'm by myself in this new body and with this new brain that I don't understand. That's when I felt lonely and sad and um, isolated and Oh, overwhelmed, but then my dad would come in with his cup of coffee and he would say, hey babe, I was like, oh wow. I'm here in this hospital, but I'm here with my family and that makes a huge difference. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. a very active part in Tessa's recovery and will be forever indebted to you for that. You made a big difference. Thank you so much. I don't separate my turning 30 from the hospital and everyone who's helped me get here because I owe it to Jeff Monroe and I owe it to my family and my friends and Dr. Katz. They gave me so much support for the past five years, I've been visiting classes, talking to future therapists about my experience. What made it such a strong recovery story is the support system, my family and friends and doctors. I try to, in ways that I can, give back to the people that helped me so much.